Hi, I'm Ronnie Ferris with Devour the Day, and this is my drum kit. I've got a D-Drum Reflex kit. It's flat black with alder shells. Uh, to the, thanks to the gracious people at D-Drum and Felix for helping me out with this kit. I'm also playing a D-Drum Brass Artisan Snare Drum, which is one of my favorite things in the world. The brass snare just has so much body. It, it's there's so much low end and punch to it, it, it really cuts through anything. Especially if you're in a theater, it's, it's a great drum to have for the style of music. Actually, before this kit, I was also playing a different reflex kit. It was an older model, all white. And uh, before that even, uh, I had played on an all birch Ludwig kit. And that was nice, but uh, I think these are really fit in my style right now. So I got a 12 by 8 inch tom right here, a 16 by 16 inch floor tom. I've also got a 20 by 18 inch kick drum, a bit smaller than uh, most drummers are playing nowadays, but I really like the, the tightness and punch of it. Uh, I am playing for my snare head an Evans hybrid head, which is like woven Kevlar, and it's it's great. It'll last forever. You can really crank it high, and it's 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 awesome. It's got it's got a dry crack to it, so it, it kind of takes some of the body away from the brass snare drum, but really. Uh, it just, it gives that projection and that nice crack and volume in it. it. I say it pairs pretty well with it. Yeah, and I'm also playing Evans uh, hydraulic heads. These are black on black hydraulic heads. And I really like the, the punchiness and the low end to them. They're pretty easy to tune when I'm on the road all the time. And I've also got an EMAD uh, on the batter side. It's an EMAD two ply, the heavyweight. And that's probably my favorite bass drum head at the moment. Symbols, I'm playing all Sabian right here. We've got a 19 inch AA explosion crash. We've also got a, kind of hard to see here, a Raw Bell dry ride, a 21 inch. This is what happens when you take a tour off and you don't clean the symbols before you leave. Also got an AAX stage crash right here, a nice 18 inch, and some 14 inch medium AA hi hats. This is all D Drum Mercury hardware. It is great, super durable hardware. I am playing the Promark Intruder 720s. Uh, this is actually my first tour with Promark, and I'm loving them. They're lasting longer than the last two sticks that I've used in the past. So, right here is uh, an Alesis IO dock. This is part of our playback rig that basically controls our click track and my mix and all that, and I can adjust it all through here. I also have. Uh, a mixer on the iPad through the X32 and my little mixing setup, volume, in ears, all that good stuff. This here is a pork pie throne that I've actually had for 12 years now. 12 years. <laughs> this is possibly my favorite item of all my drums. It's a Trick Pro 1V double kick drum pedal. It's made with machined aircraft aluminum. It's got compression springs. And I've had this since 2007, and it is just, it's going to stay put forever. That thing's never gonna come apart. Hey, this is Blake Allison from Devour the Day, and I'm going to give you our guitar boat rig rundown. Of course, it has our essentials set list, because I don't really know what song's next ever, and I always mess that up. Uh, a tuner, just to make sure that we're in tune, and of course, the uh, best part are Batman versus Superman background. They would fight, but they need each other to conquer um, evil. This is a bump cases case. Uh, some good friends of ours in Mississippi hooked us up with a, an amazing case that has lasted us many years. Shout out to those dudes. Good job. Uh, let's start with these guitars here. Okay, so. This is one of our, our recent uh, uh, additions to the collection here. This is a Clint Lowry PRS SE model. Uh, these are factory pickups, uh, Daddario strings. We have Daddario strings on all of our guitars. Each one of the strings we order individually because we play in B, and so we have a, uh, a pretty heavy gauge string but for our first four strings, and the last two are a little bit lighter so we can pull off some uh, more tricky uh, finger, finger work. Volume, tone control, basic setup. Uh, this is a switch between, uh, this is a higher pickup, lower pickup, lower pickup, and uh, right in the middle for both. 
and we usually keep it on the high because uh, typically we EQ our guitars um, to be a little bit mid-rangey rather than low endy. I feel like in any kind of in any kind of mix where um, you're not playing with these things too much, you just want a mid-rangey guitar rather than like a super low uh, thing. But uh, so this is David's uh, our our lead guitar player's lead axe. It's lightweight. It's uh, it plays great and. He seems to uh, prefer all to do all of his solos with this guy right here. And then moving on down the line, we have classic Mike Mushak uh, uh, SE guitar. And this is uh, this one's been with us for many years, uh, back in the Egypt Central days. Uh, it's a it's a it's a heavy guitar. Uh, this uh, bridge. This is a. Uh, Essential to the uh, intonation of the of this axe because I, for some reason uh, it was harder to get uh, this area to cooperate intonation wise. So we uh, we put this guy on there, magnifique. And these these bad boys, this model here and here, are our uh, SE two seventy sevens. And uh, this is just this is just a bad a bad mofo. This is a great guitar, same uh, volume tone, uh, pickup switch, and uh, this is uh, this is my uh, this is my main guitar, and I love this thing. It's it's, it's got hot pickups, and uh, then we go to King's Fisher. This is Joey's uh, primary bass, uh, King Fisher SE model, PRS. Joey just recently acquired both of these guys, identical models, factory pickups, and uh, the, the tone that comes out of these things is, is right out of the box. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So um, that has been a crucial uh, part in our live sound and how um, the, the, the way that these guitars help fill up the room. We've never had a bad show sonically, mainly because of those guys right there. So uh, this is our rig rundown. I'm Blake from Devour the Day. Click the link below to check out all our social medias and uh, and see other Gear Master um, rig rundowns. Take care, guys.